deles. I'm gonna get this straight fries with gravy. Yeah, yeah. Well, same with every they're season. They're one point out, but Bulldogs will never make it. How's your morning going? No, oh, it's going. Another beautiful morning in a quiet town. I heard the Looney Blues playing at the tavern. Yeah, I heard that too. I had planned on stopping by to after work. I know we don't know each other really well, but... Missy, are you trying to bribe a police officer with a date? Well, we really don't have to call it a date. Just call two friends listening to some really shitty music. <laughs> Uh, word on the plant being bought by new owners. Glenn, how much you been drinking? That plant's been closed for 15 years. I've been thinking about taking out a loan. <laughs> Maybe starting my own grain business. <laughs> How's that working out for you, Glenn? Uh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna swing back around nine. That's perfect. I'll see you then. Go ahead. Come here. Before you fall down. Have a seat. Now, Glenn, I don't want you giving Daisy a hard time. You hear? Yes, sir. <laughs> Daisy, <laughs> give me a coffee. Comes back with that hey, Bonnie. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Hey, good to see you both. Hey, Sheriff. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing just fine. Sheriff, Jesus, finally. Uh, what's going on, Taylor? Ah, uh, them damn kids again. They're up in my barn spooking my chickens and vandalizing the place. I tell you what, I need you to go on down to the station and speak with Brian. Brian, is that your new guy? Yeah, he is. Uh, he'll handle it. Well, you know, I would prefer somebody with a little more experience under their belt. This is my livelihood. Taylor, I need you to go on down to the station and speak with Brian. I'll see if Deputy Watson isn't free. All right, Sheriff. Take it easy, Taylor. You out here by yourself? Where's Lucy? Hey, Haley, where's your helmet? Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, partner. How you doing, Haley? Ah, uh, what'd you do to your arm? I, I fell. Hey, did it hurt? Hey, uh, how about I give you a ride home? You like that? Bet you never rode in a police car before, have you? Yeah. Come on, let's uh, let's take you home. Come on, and put you right up front. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. I was a little surprised to see you out here all by yourself. Where's your sister? <laughs> uh, your arm hurt? Hey, no accidents happen even when you're an adult, which is why it's always a good idea to wear your helmet. So what do you think about riding a police car? Pretty cool, huh? Am I in trouble? Oh, I don't know, honey. No, you're not in trouble at all. It's just I was a little concerned seeing you out here so far from home all, all on your own. See, it's the sheriff's job to make sure that everybody in the town is, is protected. <laughs> You're not in trouble at all. Hey, you want to turn on the siren? Did you used to be my mom's boyfriend? What? Uh, um, <laughs> where, where'd you hear that? Uh, why do you ask? 
When you came over to my house that one time, after you left, my mom and dad were yelling at each other. I was up in my room with Lucy, but they were really loud. And then daddy said that you and mom used to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, um, well, I, I had asked your mom to a, to a dance in high school. I was actually surprised when she said yes. Did you make out? What? Well, I overheard Lucy talking on the phone about prom and how everybody was making out afterwards. Um, well, see, I, um, I just asked your mom to a dance, uh, not, not the prom. Yeah, shortly after that, uh, she met your daddy and I was um, uh, out of the picture. Was my mom pretty in high school? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was, she was beautiful. Um, I was so nervous when I, when I went to ask her out. I, <laughs> she was actually the prettiest girl in high school. She still is uh, very pretty, but you know that, don't you? Yeah. Okay, let me get you home. No, she said that you were a nice guy and that you were sweet. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but then she called Daddy a jackass for being jealous because <laughs> you weren't her type. You were little and scrawny in high school. <laughs> yeah, well, see, your daddy was the uh, high school quarterback. And, um, um, okay, we're going to get you home right now. All right. <laughs> Whew. Why don't you go on in the house? Let me talk to your daddy. This is the second time I've come out here for bruises on your daughter. Frankly, I'm getting tired of stopping. Hey, no one's asking you to come by. I care about your daughters, Blake. What the hell's going on? She fell off a bike. What about the last time I was out here? I do believe I told you. She fell off the couch. That's it. I told you she fell off the couch. I'll be sure to look after my little girl. But as you know, I can't be there every minute every day for her. She's gonna be 13 soon. She needs to start taking care of herself. <laughs> you need to grow up. Okay, if you keep saying your family's clumsy, social services is gonna take an interest in your daughter. Are you through, Sheriff? I think I am. As I was driving down Main Street, I saw Haley moseying along on her scooter. I thought she was a little far from home, so I thought I'd give her a ride home. Uh, she repaid me by interrogating me the whole way. Main Street? Damn it, Blake, I thought you were watching her. I just needed 15 minutes to make dinner. Woman, shut your mouth before I shut up for you. Hey, Sarah, what the hell's wrong? What? what? Oh. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I, I fell earlier, raining. What can I say? Clumsy family. You are an asshole. What did you say? You heard me. And let me say it again, just in case you used it the first time. You are an asshole. Let me tell you why. You got a good thing going on here, Blake, but for some reason, you seem hell-bent on pissing it all away. I don't know why, but I'm sure you got your reasons. If you think you're funny by calling your family clumsy, you're not. Your neighbors aren't saying anything to your face out of common courtesy or fair felt self-preservation. But they're talking about you behind your back. And they're not talking about how clumsy your family is. They're talking about you. And if you don't think they are, then you are a stupid asshole. I mean, you were the star high school quarterback, but you made it to college, you couldn't cut it. Is that what it is? Well, I'm real sorry things didn't work out for you, Blake, but how long ago was that? Blake, no! Oh my god, I can't believe he did that. Are you okay? Taking a swing at an officer. I've been waiting for a long time for this, Blake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Oh my God, for God's sakes, Blake, haven't you done enough already? What did you just, just 
calm down. Now, please, let him calm down. All right, Blake. Now, I'm going to let you go. I need you to walk away and calm down. You got me? Fine. Fine. All right. Get on out of here. Tom, I'm so sorry. I can't believe you're not going to arrest him. Are you? Put those away. Hey, we're, we're, dinner's just about ready. Why don't you stay, please? That sounds fine. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have some official police business to take care of. You're not going to. No. I'm not going to take him in. At least not this time. Now look, sir. I can't do anything unless you press charges. I more or less understand why. Now, Haley, Haley is another matter. If this doesn't change, it's going to be out of my hands. I know. Hey, thanks for bringing Haley home. All right, you take care. You too. Thanks, Tom. Bye. I'm so sorry, sir. I'd say it's all right. Uh, what do you need, Sheriff? I'm looking for some flowers, and I'm uh, wondering if you guys got any uh, fresh roses. Yeah, we, we got some roses and all that. You know, just came in today, and uh, all the way in the back by the produce. All right, uh, I'll go take a, take a walk on over, see what kind of selection you got. Sounds good. Freaking can't. The cops in here. What? He's shopping for some flowers. Damn, what does he need flowers for? How the hell should I know? I don't read his freaking diary. Boy, I can smell the smoke you're thinking so hard. Uh, hey, Jersey. I think I know what I want. Oh, roses. Yeah. How romantic. Dude, I'm telling you, experience makes all the difference. But she has to be hot, too. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Hey, you know what? I think I could hook you up with someone. How long did you be dating for? Oh, oh, hell. Uh, tonight's our first. Um, well, I, I, I wouldn't actually, actually call it a date. I just. Oh, a first date. How cute. All right, first of all, huh. give me these. What are you talking about? I have a girlfriend already, remember? No shit. You and Lucy are still together? After how she was going at you at that party? I thought you two were totally done. No, no, we're cool. We're together still. Matter of fact, I'm getting with you tonight. No shit. If you give a woman roses on the first date, she's gonna think you're too serious. You're gonna scare her off. You know, a lot of emotional baggage that she might not be ready for. Or she might just be uh, thinking you want too much. You two already made up? Yeah. Well, it's a long story, but we're cool. Uh, I'm guessing the makeup sex was amazing. That's why I think wildflowers are pretty. They make a really good first impression, yet they're simple. They don't bring out all that cultural and emotional baggage. And you can build on this if you'd like to, you know, for uh, future encounters. Uh, yeah. Okay, you sold me. Thanks, Jersey. She must have been an animal in the sack. Why am I wrong? Boys, excuse me for interrupting. Oh, these look lovely. How you doing, Mark? I'm okay. Staying out of trouble? Oh, always. Always. How much are you? Uh, 895. 895. Scott? Here's 10. Keep the change. Oh, how generous. Later, boys.
apologize for this too. Oh, Sheriff of Town, I'm always on call. Well, obviously I'm not changed either. My plan was to go home during lunch, but it got too busy so I couldn't. Okay. And so I don't suppose you'd mind sitting by my house so that I can change? Not at all, not at all. Great. Charity waits. Thank you. Ah, get on in there. Get that seatbelt on too, okay? <laughs> it's star bright. Star light. Woo, first star I see tonight. <laughs> Ben's been a good boy this Christmas. Oh yeah, beautiful Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. Mark, what are you doing here? My dad is drunk again, and if he finds you here... What is that you're wearing? Are you kidding me, Mark? My dad is in the other room. I told you to meet me down by the park and I, pick me up. I know, I'm sorry. Are you ready to go or what? No, Mark, that's why I said 7.30. I need more time. Look. We'll stuff some pillows under the bed, make it look that you're still here, and then bounce. I promise I won't keep you out all night. I told you, Mark, we're just going to talk. Nothing more. Come on. Fine, let me grab my clothes. That was fun. I'll help you out. I'll be outside. All right, all right. First of all, I have to tell you that I'm not sorry for joining. Oh my god! You enrolled in the army anyway? Uh, but let me explain. I thought we were here to talk about us being together. I am. That's why I- What about EACC? We were supposed to go to college together. That was our big plan. I know, I know, but school and classes and all that, it's just not for me. Do you know how much trouble I had just getting a passing grade back in high school? You're the one with the brains, all right? I just think the Army's a better opportunity for me. Where does that leave me? Did you forget about this? This is my promise ring. You promised we would be together. Will you calm down? I've been trying to tell you the whole time. I've been trying to explain ever since you stormed out of Richie's party. I joined for us. I'm doing the Army thing for us. I don't understand you. You're seriously not making any sense. Damn it, Lucy. I know what this is all about. I know why you're acting so insane. What? Yeah, it's about your father. If I leave, there'll be no one to take care of you, am I right? That's why you're so upset. I... Just listen to me for one minute, all right? Look, the army allows you to live on base with your wife, so we can keep our plans and stay together. Damn it, I would do anything for you. I would climb the highest obstacle. I would face a thousand shitty days. I would go to hell and back if I knew that you were going to be there at the end of the day waiting for me. So?
just propose to me? I did more than that. I offered you my heart and my soul. And yeah, I proposed to her. Are you sure they would let me? What? Let me live with you on base. Are you sure they would let me do that? Oh yeah, I'm positive. I love you, Mark. And if you promise to make this work, I'll stand by your side. Mister, we need to get this guy to the hospital. What about that doctor that lives down the road? Lucy, come on, help me. We gotta get him in there as soon as possible. Property. Doctor, we found this guy. Lucy Greenheart. It's me and we need your help. Of course, honey. Tell me what happened. Can we come in? Lucy, go to the kitchen. Call the sheriff. All right, doctor, what can I do to help? Are you sure you don't know what happened to this man? No, he ran up to my car like this. Is he dying? This man has no pulse. I guess I need help. We found this guy. He's really sick. Okay, Doc. Now what? Go check on Lucy. Sorry. Is someone coming? I just called the sheriff's office. Someone's on their way. Is that okay? Okay. The doc says he's dead. He ran up to the car. I know. That sounds like the doc. Doctor, let us in the door! Open up! Open the door, please! Who oh, stand back? Break the door down. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Sir, we both saw it. Hey, where do you think you're going? I thought I told you you were going to stay in a truck, you stupid bitch. Sheriff, what's this all about? Lucy's got school in the morning. In fact, she ought to be home right now. By the way, Lucy, what are you doing out so late? Daddy, don't. Shut up and get in the truck. Sir, let me explain. Boy, as far as I'm concerned, you can just stay away from my daughter. Sheriff, sure, she does need a good night's sleep. All right, Watson. Well, can she go? Yeah, Blake, take her home now. Lucy, call me. Shut your mouth, boy. Listen, you gonna be all right getting home on your own? I can get one of my deputies to give you a ride. No, I'm all right, sir. All right, uh, you get on home then. I'll be in touch. Hey, Mark. Yeah? How long have you been out of school? Four years? Why are you still wearing the jacket? Those were better times. Not to mention, this jacket always kind of brought me luck.
Sheriff. Yeah, Plumber's here. Sheriff. Hey, How Tony. Hey. Deputy, what you got going on? Well, not real sure, Tony. We're hoping you can help us out. Well, let's see what you got. Come on. Tony, before I let you in there, I need to let you know it's a mess. Sure. I've been doing this job for 20 years. There's nothing I haven't seen. Hey, you all right, Tony? And, uh, we're not sure what happened. Uh, that's why we called you. Something's down that drain. Well, let me get my tools and see what I can do, Sheriff. All right, Tony. Hey, Watson, I need you to check the rest of the house, um, check the perimeter as well. I need to find Doc D. This is her blood. She's going to need medical attention. I'm not ready to believe that some blob ate the doc and washed her down a drain. Sheriff, do you think Lucy and Mark had something to do with it? I mean, Lucy hasn't grown up in the best of households. Mm -hmm. I don't think Lucy and Mark had anything to do with this. Whatever this is, it's way beyond anything a couple kids can do. All right, you go on now. I'll let me know what you find out. Do you like what you see? Yes. Well, where's your protection? Oh, it's right here. Hold up. Oh, shit. It's in the car. I'll be right back. Watson. Hey, Sheriff, how did the uh, night turn out with Daisy? Worst date ever. Really? Yeah, never got past the fact that he got ruined with all the going on over Doc D's. Tony call? No, not yet. I left Brian with him. The rookie? Yeah, I thought it would be an easy assignment. You know, this is getting ridiculous. I've humored this horse shit long enough. Tomorrow, we're going to have to start ourselves a real investigation. as far as I'm willing to go tonight. Do me a favor, get on the horn, give Brian a call, see if he's found Doc D. Tell him no, we're wrapping things up. And please tell him to secure the crime scene. Man, Sheriff, you really do look exhausted. <sighs> Hell, uh, Watson, we haven't had a murder here since Detective Sanders had a second run-in with that Gore guy back when I was a rookie. Yeah, this is going to be a long night. Yeah, Sheriff, and I have a feeling it's only going to get longer. <laughs> you got that right. I got one deputy, one rookie. I feel like a guy with no arms in a bowling alley. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen the likes of this in our town. You shut your mouth, Tammy. You little sons of bitches. I'm gonna kick the peach fuzz off all your asses. 
keep messing with my chickens. I know that you, Billy. You better run home and tell your mama you're about to catch a whipping boy. Getting sick of this every day, and now I gotta come out here. It's a lovely day out there. <laughs> About time too, isn't it? <laughs> After that long winter we had. The sycamores are all in bloom. Yeah, ain't they pretty? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you uh, got the lineup for the parade from the sheriff yet? Uh, the sheriff is going to have to go over the parade route mm -hmm. uh, uh, so he can block off Main Street and Cento. I see. Ah. Mark, what's up? Is the sheriff here? Hey, Mark. Hello, Mayor Logan. I haven't seen him. What about Watson? Is he here? Well, I haven't been able to get anybody on the radio all day. The walkies are all full of static. Uh, Brian and the deputy went on down to the doctor's house. What in the world was all that about? I don't know. Now, back to that parade route. Oh, yeah. Brian, why don't you check out the end of the hallway? I'm going to check out the living room. Doc? Can you hear me, Doc? It's Deputy Watson. 
What? Deputy, I need your help, man. What is it, Mark? There was a hole in the ground, like like something crash landed, like a meteor or something. A what? Like from outer space? Brian, you're not listening. I saw my friend Scott Peterson up there. He, he was dead. Mark, we got bigger problems in there. What is going on? I was just attacked. What if this thing is all one and the same? Mark, what do you want me to say? That the world's being invaded by aliens? Okay. See, Lucy? I told you not to be hanging out with that mock kid. All he is and ever was trying to do was get in your pants. Wait, stop it. Shut up, woman. I put the bread on the table and I make the money in this house. So you be quiet. I have to see Mark. I have to know he's okay. Follow me. Here it is, room 245. Let's just hope he's here. And then as a result, it equals two of these and three of these. Officer? Mark? I never expected to see you back here, Superstar. How's the arm? We need to speak with you, sir. Okay. Uh, should I leave? Please, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Professor O'Neill, I have something I have to have you look at. Professor, look at this stuff. Well, we found it's on my jacket. I was attacked by men infected with this stuff. It's like some kind of life form. Hmm. Be careful with it. Well, it appears to be parasitic in nature, possibly of the protozoa family. I'll need to get it under a microscope to be sure. Parasitic, protozoic, this thing's killed at least three people already. Don't, don't, no, don't, don't touch it. If you touch it, it'll attach itself to you. I've seen this before. And keep it away from me. I don't recognize this surface tissue. I don't want to jump the gun, but I think you might have found a new species here. What are you saying? This appears to be some form of bacteria. You see how it's not really moving? It's dormant. It needs a warm temperature to thrive. It could be some form of algae or parasite that needs an organic host. English, professor. What I'm saying is, I've never seen anything like this before. In fact, I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like this before. You say this has killed three people? Yeah. I recommend we contact the CDC ASAP. Why? Who knows what this can do? We could be in for some serious trouble. Do you mind if I run some more tests on this? Just don't let it touch you. Mark! Lucy. No signal. Mark, let me see your phone. No signal either. I'm find the phone. Professor, can I use your phone? What's going on? Don't move. Where's the professor? I don't know. Professor! Oh, God! Oh. Look! How far did you get? Get her out of here! What about you, Brian? Go! Do the I next thing! Go no. tell the sheriff now! What is in there? 
You have until the count of three, or I will lock your ass up for obstruction of a federal investigation. And I will have my men lock up everyone in this hall. Why are you in my so I school? suggest that you get your ass out of here. I understand what you're saying. Okay, this is still my town. I understand what you're saying. You know you're locked up. Let's get out of here, man. All right, I'll, I'll leave. Keep that weapon. Why are you here? Sure, you need to go. On. I'm going. I will go. You're locked up. Please. All right. This is my town. They can't come in here and do that. Unbelievable, Mark. I, I need you to tell me what in the hell is going on. Please. Who are those guys, Sheriff? You know, some sort of uh, government-sanctioned biological containment team or some crap. All I know is I'm out at the park. I'm doing an investigation. I see these five black SUVs. I go over to see what's going on, and these guys in suits come up to me and start asking me all sorts of questions. Next thing you know, I'm here at the high school, talking to the principal. Sir, the deputies. What about the deputies, Mark? They're dead. <laughs> Mark, what are you talking about? The deputies are dead. What are you talking about? Brian saved their lives up in that classroom. That was Brian upstairs? Yes. Deputy Watson's gone too. What? Sorry. Sheriff, containment of what? Sheriff. Are you the man in charge? I am in charge. My name is Mr. Gray. I don't know what you guys are doing here, but I just heard two of my deputies are dead. So you need to tell me something. Sir, everything within time. You need to put your town on high alert. You call a town meeting. What you need to do is tell me what is going on, and you need to tell me now. Sheriff, there was a chemical spill outside of town. We need to set up a hazardous material containment plan now. Chemical spill of what? Everything will be explained at tonight's meeting. Sheriff, may I speak to you in private, please? Yeah, of course. I have Mark, Lucy. What was that about? I don't know. agency in for? Do you remember the last time we had a government agency? Do you remember how they closed the grain mills? Do you remember the environmental issue? Huh? Jim, calm down and lower your damn voice. No, uh, no, I, I'm not liking this at all. This is not going to go well. All right, Mayor, after you. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. The town has been sealed tight. The roads are blocked, phone lines severed. Civilian radio frequencies have been jammed, as well as cell phones. No, sir. Mr. Gray is taking care of that. Can you all know Sheriff Tom Brackett. Yeah, this here is Mr. Gray. Yeah, Mr. Gray is with a government sanctioned biological containment team. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time and yours talking. Yeah. I'm going to let Mr. Gray uh, let you know what's going on. And then over here, Sheriff uh, Brackett, he, he's going to give you our containment plan. Mr. Gray? Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Mr. Gray. We have known for some time that elements of space have a mutating effect on bacteria. We have found some of this bacteria in this village. Excuse me, Mr. Gray? Yes. But what do you mean from space? It's extraterrestrial in origin. Now, do not be alarmed, but we have noticed that some of this bacteria is growing at an exponential rate. We have medical teams coming in to check every member of this town. Within the next five hours, the National Guard will be coming in to help contain and make sure that if contaminated, it does not escape this area. Nobody can leave the village until we make sure nobody is contagious. That's bullshit. Excuse me? You heard me. Why don't you tell the people what's been happening to the folks that have been contaminated by this bacteria? What do you mean, son? 
Think about it. You suppose an army full of suits shows up every time a small bacteria grows? I have seen this thing firsthand. It mutates the body and consumes it as if we were food. How'd they get here so quickly? How did they even know to come? You see, what Mr. Gray is forgetting to tell you is that this situation is not contained. We are trying to contain the incident before it becomes out of control. you doing out here with this loser? You little tramp. Get home now. Don't talk to her like that. Who the hell are you to tell me? This is my daughter. Shut up, Blake. How can you even call yourself a father? Ah! And who the hell are you? There's some 
more of that green stuff. I'm sorry. Take the left. Got it. You two come with me. It'll be safer. What was that thing? Can we talk about this when we're all safe? No! Tell us right now! It's an alien bacteria from another world. We're a part of a special agency that's been set to contain it. It's, it's highly contagious and extremely deadly. We believe it's one of the reasons why there is no life on Mars. And that thing that killed your father, we call it a nemesis. Wait, you seen this thing before? Yes, and the reason why I said we need to keep moving is because bullets don't kill it. From what we gather, it's sent from the alien world to contain an office should never land on another planet. At least, that's what we believe. Nobody could have got in here. Shame. You were a damn 
good aid. Shit. We gotta keep moving. Come on. Wait up. Three ten. What? Shit, what? Uh, nothing. Answer the question, man. No, it's okay. It's like I said before, the village has been quarantined. So? By noon, once they see how bad this thing has spread, they will launch Project X. What's that? Project X is a nuclear bomb. They're gonna level the village. No, my mom and my sister are still back there. It's already out of control. You were at the village meeting. The whole village was there. This thing is spreading like a plague. The best thing we could do is keep moving. What about my family? It's, it's too late. No. I'll go back for them, Lucy. Let me go with you. My house is right down the road. We can sprint there. You don't understand. If we don't keep moving, we are all dead. Sir, what about us? We can call in a chopper. I'm afraid not. We're expendable. Thankless job. Take her. We're not infected. What about you? I'm going back for Lucy's family. No, let me go. It's my mom and my sister. Please stay here. Mark.
Sarah? Bailey? Up here! One of those things is up here! Sarah, we gotta get out of here. Come on, just jump over it. Have you seen Lucy? She's safe. Haley, Haley, sweetheart, come on. We don't, we don't have time for this. Come on. Haley. Haley. Sarah, we don't have time for this. We don't have time. We're not out of here by noon. We're gonna drop a nuke. We're all gonna be dead. Take care of Haley. I'm gonna find Lucy. You stay here. Lucy! Talk? I can do more than that. I can steal his thoughts. You can steal whose thoughts? This thing is... This is our planet now. If you kill this host, another will come to take his place. <laughs> You don't touch me. We gotta get out of here. Come on, follow me. Mom, Ailey! Mom, Ailey! Oh my god, you're okay! Oh my god! Oh. We here! 
Don't, don't come near me. I was attacked. Mark, run! We gotta go. Mark, get up! We can't go out of this stuff, sir. Let's take no, no, we, we can get we, him we, out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go. I love you. We have to go. Come on, come on. We gotta go. Seriously, we're just gonna leave. We gotta leave. There's nothing we can do for it. Go. If you die, his life is worthless. Listen to him. Come on, come on. It doesn't matter. We can There's no keys. There's no keys in this one. We gotta go. Come on. We need to find keys. We're not going there back. There are no keys. Lucy, look. It's everywhere. Oh. Tom, she's shaking. Ah. Uh, all right, go in the shot. Here, put this on her. somewhere.
she's uh, she's dead. When those keys go to the jeep. Okay, everybody in the jeep. Why haven't you killed me yet? You're trying to keep me alive. Put your seatbelt on. Ladies, now we get out of here. Casualties continue to mount following a disastrous explosion at a chemical plant in rural New York. Metzberg, a peaceful community which has had its share of problems after Metzberg grain went under, is ground zero. Approximately 500 homes are believed to have been leveled in the explosion. Authorities continue to search for survivors, more as this tragic story unfolds. Did you see that? See what? What? <laughs> Gee. 